Federal Reserve. Inflation has been so high, less money in their savings accounts, less money in their investing accounts. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm going to talk about how to make $1 million, how to become a millionaire. And this video is going to have seven money-making tips that you can easily implement in your life and they'll set you up for financial success. So obviously it's going to take some time to become a millionaire. You can't just jump straight into it. Um, so you have to stay consistent with these tips that I'm about to give you. And your work over time is what will eventually make you a millionaire. So the very first, the very first tips, the very first tip, I'm sorry, is get rid of all your credit card debt. And that means right now. Credit card debt is something that really hinders you because if you have a lot of it and you've had it for some time, you actually end up spending a lot of money just on paying down the interest um, on that credit card debt. And it hinders hinders all of uh, the gains that you could get from your money. So I would say oh, that is the first thing you should do, the very first thing you should do. And so let's move on to the second tip that'll make you a millionaire. So the second one um, is that you need to invest every week. So that means set off a specific amount that you put into your investing account every week. I don't care if it's $5, if it's $50, um, you just have to do it consistently. And I'm not saying you're investing it every week, I'm just saying you're putting it off into your, into your investing account every week. So if you start with $5, that's fine. Um, obviously you're not gonna, if you can't do $5 a week, then you're never gonna be able to do say a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. So you need to start somewhere. And then once you move on, obviously you can you know you can start increasing that number. So that's the second tip. Uh, the third way to become a millionaire is kind of related to that. Okay. So the third way is to keep your eyes open for a good investment opportunity. Uh, I would personally go for, let's see, this guy. So the, the, I would personally go for dividend stocks because they pay, they pay dividends. <laughs> um, and so you'll get some money back continuously every quarter, every year, whatever it is. Um, and so your money will start to work for you. And eventually, you know, if you get a lot of these dividends, these dividend stocks, um, especially if you get it for a low average price, you know, your portfolio will grow like crazy. And, you know, eventually you could actually have more money from dividends than your salary yearly, which would be a really good situation to be in. Um, now let's move on to the fourth fourth way of becoming a millionaire is to learn a high income skill. So what does that mean? That means you could learn how to become a salesperson or you can learn sales. Um, something that, you know, there's a lot of um, opportunities. There's a lot of money attached to knowing how to sell something. It could be learning how to code something, program something, um, any skill that you think or that an employer thinks would make you more valuable to your company or any skill that you can acquire in order to get, and, and that skill then help you get a better paying job. Um, so yeah, that, that's the fourth way. The fifth way of becoming a millionaire is to invest in self-education. And this is, this is a little vague, but I think it's an important part because there's always an opportunity for you to grow regardless of what you already know in your skills and your age for that matter. There's, oh, did not know that was there. Um, so this could be reading a book. It could be attending a seminar. Uh, you could learn something that you didn't know before. 
that in some way will be valuable for you down the road. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a high income skill. I guess it is a little related to it though. Um, in the sense that, you know, these, this self-education could be, um, it could be a skill that will help you in the future with getting a better job, for instance, but, um, it's just a little more in general and just working with self-improvement, which is very important. Um, and then the sixth way of becoming a millionaire is to increase the percentage that you invest. So say, say you currently invest 2% of your paycheck. That's good. That's a lot better than zero. Um, but obviously as you, as time moves on, you would want to try to invest more. And so if you're able to increase the percentage that you invest, that's really how you'll get a lot of money from it because if you get a, hopefully you get a pay raise at some point and then, um, you know, maybe you're making then $10,000 more than before. And then on top of that, you spend a higher percentage of your income on investing. Um, that'll snowball really fast. Um, so that is the reason for that being the sixth way of becoming a millionaire. Um, and then now let's move on to the seventh way and also the last way um, that I'm going to mention in this video of becoming a millionaire. That is to just believe in yourself. That sounds a little, um, maybe a little bit weird, but if you don't believe in yourself, then none of this is going to be possible. Um, a lot of people maybe initially start off with the goal of becoming a millionaire or saving oh, a ton of money. And then they get to a certain point and they're like, ah, you know, maybe a million dollars just isn't possible for me. And, you know, they kind of settle with what they're able to do or maybe their current paycheck. Um, but, I mean, if you really, really believe in, in yourself and that you can invest more as you move on, at times move on. Um, that's that's going to be very very important. Um, you don't see you don't see many millionaires that don't believe in what they're doing, um, especially people that have have earned that money themselves. I guess you could could find some people that haven't really made any other money themselves and just have a lot of money sitting there for. Um, you know, they, it's just like their family's wealth of some sort. Um, you know, they, they could probably be in a situation where they don't really believe that they can make a lot more money with it. But if you've um, if you started something pretty much from zero and you're close to becoming a millionaire or you're like on the path, then believing in yourself is huge. So... Combining all of these seven tips is is kind of the key for what what you need to do to become a millionaire. Um, and I'm not saying that one of them is necessarily more important than the other, although um, the fact is that if you are able to put money aside steadily, invest steadily, and wisely over a long period of time, you will actually get to the point where dividends uh, from your stocks will pay you a higher amount yearly than the money you get from your salary. Oh. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the essence of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. I'm going to try to put out more content like this. And, uh, oh, oh no. And yeah, if you have any specific things you wanna, want me to make a video about, then leave a comment. If you, for some reason, don't agree with what I'm saying, or if you don't like the topics that I'm choosing in these videos, then leave a comment about that. Um, if you have friends or family you think could benefit from my videos, please share my videos with them. 
And, um, yeah, until next time. Looks like we're going to lose this one, but uh, at least we're winning. We're making money, so. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.